Carl, Dan and Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbanger Live, GBHBL.com for sure. And we are checking out the new track from King of the Dead, Running Out of Time. Look, going to be straight up, I don't know anything about this band. This is simply, uh, can you check this track out? We're going to check it out. We're not going to hang about. We're not going to go for a long talk about what we know and what we don't, because unless you guys have got something different, do you know of King of the Dead? I don't. I, I don't. Uh... <laughs> And weirdly enough, I'm not looking at the video. There's like four comments, and I know two of the commenters. <laughs> so do you? So that was quite interesting. Oh God, you're right. I do. Um, <laughs> um, but that's so I kind of feel I... like yeah, it might be a local sort of scene ish like band to us. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. So we're very intrigued. We're going to check it out now. In three, two, one, go. Oh. Not what I was expecting. Hmm. Definitely wasn't the vocals I was expecting. That's fucking cool. Yeah. I remember the days when the videos were just lyrics on the screen. Yeah, with the half a million pound investment into a video. <laughs> <laughs> Disgraceful. Okay. Some pretty cool imagery there. Oh yeah, the imagery's great, isn't it? I love the art, yeah. It's almost like got a 3D effect as well, isn't it? Is that just me? Yeah. With the kind of dust particles going up or fire. Mm. Oh, it's a tambourine. What instrument I think I can play. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you couldn't anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. Right. So I'll get started then. I liked it. I didn't love it. Here's the thing. There are things I like. I think it's catchy. I think it's straightforward. I think it's got some nice rock riffs. The vocals are quite forward. So a lot of the time I'm trying to pick out and hear things. Here's the thing. There's elements in it that I would like to see developed further. The gothic elements that cropped up twice, but the end there and earlier on, like this gothic <clears throat> tone, a little bit of like melody and stuff like that. That's exciting. I want to hear more of that shit. But here, by the end though, the last minute, I, I was like, oh my God, it's so repetitive. Yeah, it was just the same like chorus over and over again. I literally, I, I looked over like, I saw you both kind of like not looking directly at the screen anymore and you were, you were, you were kind of diverting <laughs> your eyes somewhere else. And I was like, okay, so it's not just me. But it, it, it really frustrated me in the end because you've got that really nice piano bit. And if that had been for like, the entire song, that would have been so cool. Mm. Why waste that opportunity and that talent just to have a quick little thing at the end? I, mm. I also found, I think that this might come across really weird. I found it was quite reminiscent of Creeper. Um, that kind of eternity in your arms with the art style and the instrumentals, not so much the vocals, right? But that kind, like the, especially with the imagery of the guy holding up the cards and he's got the three guys behind him. It's like that James Scythe, he went missing. Yeah, kind of. It, it it's confused me, but like I'm kind of intrigued at the same time. You want to know more? You want to know hear more songs by him? And I want to see if like they're all as repetitive as that. Unlikely, I'd imagine well, so. I mean, that's the single, right? I thought that was really, really fucking good. Okay. I Honestly, I, I've got a slightly different... I mean, I understand what you're saying about the repetitive bit at the end of it. And yeah, I was, my attention was gained. But I was looking away at one point because I think partially what Carl was saying, which was that the vocals were quite high up in the mix. And there was... Um, in that repetitive bit at the, at the end really hard to hear it but there was a really cool guitar melody in the background too and what i, I was i don't know why because it doesn't help but for <laughs> some reason i was trying to hold my head for, <laughs> like what it was that and that's why i was looking away at that point in particular the things i liked about it and this is not my normal style of music but uh i, I thought it was quite reminiscent to a band that i didn't know anything about but recently carl also forced upon me <laughs> as he does which was a uh, there were elements of Dustland Express within it. Oh, oh uh, damn. Yeah, and I really, really uh, have become quite obsessed with Dustland Express since we reacted to the song Voyage of Men um, to the point where I'm almost ready to get them tattooed on my forehead. Um, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> but I, I really liked them and I, and I liked what this band did too. And it was uh, a lot of the backing vocals and the harmonies and stuff like that. I liked the fact it wasn't to the extreme level that does Land Express do it, you know, but there was a lot of backing and a lot of uh, different vocal tones in the background. There was some really cool melody. I liked the piano bit, but I liked the fact that it wasn't used throughout the song, which is just, I guess, again, one of those things in it, you know. Mm. I like the fact that it was a nice little sort of surprise at the end as the vocals were fading out further and further, there was this other piece coming in. And I'd be interested to see if that leads into something in the album. Do you know what I mean? Like if that then kind of becomes a structure to go into the track after it or something mm. like that. But I found myself really enjoying that. I, I genuinely, I wasn't even taking the piss. Was it in on the whoa sort of stuff? I was, I was there, man. I was 100% on board punching the air and all that you know so yeah i really really like that i thought that was catchy as fuck really really cool and when he first started singing my initial reaction to anyone who sings in a clean higher tone is for Hate. some reason revolt revulsion yeah. and then but i found very very quickly that i was really enjoying his vocals i really really enjoyed it sometimes with these songs they're more of a surprise to me than than to other people almost because i know again i listened to that if somebody said high pitch singing very rock um, you know, singer's very prominent, repeats the same chorus a hundred times at the end. In my head, all of those components, I'm not meant to like. Mm. But for some reason, that worked for me. I really enjoyed it. And what oh, I don't know if you noticed, at some point I started writing down here, because I'm old school, so I have the pen and paper, but was that to remember that the name of this song afterwards so I can go and add it straight away on my music and play this shit to people, because I thought that was banging. Oh, that's incredible. I mean, that's incredible, right? Yeah, I've loved it. Great song. I think that's a perfect place to end with such positivity. Yeah, of course, it's not for everyone. That's why I have three people here, but I'm very pleased to see that at least one person come away loving it. I so I liked it. I think Dan's pretty much in the like category as well. Yeah. 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 
intriguing, isn't it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Want to know more, but let us know what you think of it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?